I'm Des Taylor, pop artist, graphic designer, comic book illustrator, international man of mystery, and I'm also known for doing a few things like this. And like this. And like this. And I'm Lucy Myatt, I review comics online, but I also own a comic book shop where if you're ever in Liverpool, would see me doing this. Oh, just drop loads of games. And this is the first episode of Mayfire. We are so excited to be a part of this community and welcome you. We've got loads to do, we've got giveaways and digital comic book reviews. And seeing as I'm the graphic illustrator here, I'm going to be giving you some tips and techniques of how to do your own work. But first, let's have a taste of what we've got for you this week. Planet of the Apes is back on the big screen, so we're checking out the motion books. We have an exclusive McCree motion book showcase from Overwatch. Dark superhero action from Captain Stone is missing by Liam Sharp. I'm stepping into the world of virtual reality for Treatment Tokyo by Dave Gibbons. We have a cosmic problem. We get inside the mind of indie artist Popia. And how would you like to win 12 months of Mayfire? Or you can binge digital comic downloads for a whole year. Stay with us to find out how. Pop quiz, hot shot. I'm ready. What was the first comic you ever read? Civil War. Oh my days, that's quite recent. It is, I am a, I'm quite a newbie to the comic world, but a fast learner. I, I, uh, I went to Mark Miller's Capel and had never been into comic books, never read a comic book. Just picked up Civil War, happened to be by Mark Miller. Cool. Read it in one go, put it down and went, that's it, I'm into comic books now. Now you make me feel really old. I remember the first comic I read was a Superman issue, I know it's in the 400s, and it featured this character called Thorn, who was like this, uh, I don't know, the knockoff version of Poison Ivy. I don't want to degrade Poison Ivy, but you know, she was kind of like a budget version. Right, enough about me. Let's talk about our first motion book, Planet of the Apes. Let's have a look at some of the trailer from the new movie. You are <laughs> We are the beginning! Together, strong! We are the beginning! Apes, together, strong! Have you come to save your apes? I came for you. Wow. Woody Harrelson seems to have got quite a few jobs. You know, in Hunger Games, he's now in a new Star Wars film, he's in True Detective. And How did he go from Cheers to I that? I know, he's actually doing... <laughs> and it looks awesome. Doing absolutely brilliant. I mean, I enjoyed the first two, but you know, you're the girl that's a bit of a nerd. I am you a like bit the, of a nerd. You like facts? I love my facts. So give me the facts. Most people don't know, but it was originally a book before it was a film, written by Pierre Boulle in 1963 and then made into the film starring Charlton Heston in 1968. Four more movies in the 70s spawned two TV series, one of which was actually animated. I remember that. Totally. I oh my not. God, I am showing my age. <laughs> there was then a remake in 2001 by Tim Burton. It actually almost starred Tom Cruise and Arnie instead of Wahlberg. <gasps> yeah, that could be disastrous. There was a reboot in 2011, which was Rise of the Planet of the Apes, followed by Dawn of the Planet of the Apes in 2014. And this is the most interesting thing. There was two computer games. One was for the PC and PlayStation in 2001, which is this one. But there was an 8-bit game for the Atari 2600 in 1983. And it got mislabeled and lost and was eventually released in 2003 after the PlayStation one. That's insane. I vaguely remember that from school. Wow, look at those graphics. Fantastic. <laughs> and on top of that, Planet of the Apes now gets a motion book, so it really does have everything. We're three weeks into the siege. I've participated in nine failed attempts to take the structure. We need this rail corridor. We need access to the infrastructure north of here. We need to advance the line. No one knows just what the hell this structure is, but it's in the way. Big time. So it's gotta go. I really hate these apes. Copy that. Orders. Go in fast, hit them hard. Bring that eyesore down and make it out alive. Same plan, 
new day. Anyone has a better idea, I'm all ears. We can't go on like this. What do you think of that? I thought it looked awesome. That's like a preview of issue one. There's five in the series, and it's like an anthology. So every issue is a different story from a different point in time. Okay. So some is just as the outbreak is, some are way after and everything's been established. So, and it's, uh, it's really interesting. What do you think of the art style? It's very broad okay. because each issue is done by different creators. It's going to be, which I actually like. Some are very gritty and dark, and I think it suits this theme better, but mm. some are very bold and almost childlike. One actually looks like a storybook. Right, we've seen the motion book, and now I hear there's a poster book. So let's it have is. a look at some of the poster book. Wow, look at that orangutan. You start chilling on a lamppost. This one's by Brian Kessinger. He is an Annie Award winning artist for Disney Animated Studios. Nice. He's done Tarzan and Zootopia. So that kind of really fits in with this picture, animals and jungles. One of my favorite things he's done, he loves steampunk. And he's done these cool. uh, character sets of these girls called tea girls. Tea girls. It's, oh, it's so beautiful. Explain they, a tea girl to me. Think please. Disney and steampunk and then monochrome, like he's drawn them with a tea in different shades of browns and oranges. Oh, it's to die That sounds for. like an art cocktail, man. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, oh, this is my man, Liam Sharp. Let's talk a bit about Liam. He's done the X-Men, Hulk, Spider-Man, Venom, Superman, Batman, Gears of War, and most recently, my favorite book, Wonder Woman, DC Rebirth, number one. Does he ever just sit down, have a cup of tea? No, even though Liam, he's a workaholic. And later, we're going to see his motion book on Made Fire, Captain Stone is Missing. What do you like about this? I, I, lo I love it all. I love the fact that it's so focused on the ape. Like, even though that page is full, yeah. it's also empty, and you can't help but look at how ragged and frantic it is. Yeah. He, he looks like he's just been in some sort of battle, and he, oh, it's... You want to know why. You want to read about why he looks the way he is, why he's bloodied and roughed up. <laughs> if you know Liam, like, he is like the master of doing beast uh, creatures. I mean, you, you just have to look at his run on uh, Wonder Woman at the moment. The way he's uh, redesigned Cheetah, that is just uh, spectacular. So this is the next poster. This is by someone I already love, and it's Sergio Sandoval. He's actually worked with one of my favorite directors, uh, Guillermo del Toro. He that horror guy. Yeah, the horror guy, uh, which is perfect for this because this isn't this isn't Disney. This isn't a happy story. <laughs> and he worked with him on uh, The Devil's Backbone, which is one of my favorite horror films, and his most famous Pan's Labyrinth. Oh, yeah, he created pretty, yeah. most of the creatures. He actually designed most of the creatures and scenarios in them films. It's incredible. He's also worked on a lot of DC. He's done Superman, Arrow, Batman. So all the big names. He doesn't just do horror stuff. No. It looks like the apes are taking over in that sequence. Look at this. What I like about this one, this one's the first poster we've seen to actually use warmth. Yeah. Like even with the jungle, it was the greens yeah, and it was really stuff, colorful, yeah. but this has got oranges and reds and it's it's chaotic. And this one's actually 3D, if you notice, it's been spinning around. Yeah, I know. So <laughs> that's, Tell me about that. What poster book do you know that has a 360 poster that you can watch? Absolutely awesome. It really does give you the view yeah. that they're, they're, they're in charge here. Now, this man over here is Dave Gibbons. And you know, I'm, I'm an absolute massive Dave Gibbons fan. For those who don't know Dave Gibbons, um, he's most famous, you know, for The Watchmen with Alan Moore. He's also done some stuff with uh, Mark Miller on The Kingsman. He's worked on everything from Doctor Who, Superman, Green Lantern. Oh, absolutely love his Green Lantern run. Sorry, I had to geek out there. <laughs> uh, can we swiftly along? Who's this? This is Ben Wolstenholme. Wolverhamstow. Wolstenholme. Oh, OK. Ben is actually the creator of Mono, which we're going to be having a look at next week, about an ape-human hybrid secret agent with the strength of 12 men. Uh, Planet of the Apes motion books are out on their Mayfire app and on DeviantArt. Sea to shining sea in eight hours without leaving the ground. Wonders will never cease. 
Ain't the fastest or the cheapest way to travel, but that's the appeal. Rich folks love to go where they're getting expensive. But hey, the food's great, so's the bourbon selection. Not that I'd know. They don't sell folks like me a ticket. Good thing I prefer the fresh air. Even if it's blowing past at 640 kilometers per hour. Yes, sir. Nothing like traveling in style. Unless... Unless it attracts the wrong kind of attention. Oh, boy. Fast roping at half the speed of sound. They must be idiots. Oh, very, very good. It looks like Opsion Dose. This ain't got nothing to do with me. If I show my face, guess who gets the blame? This crew's using the Blackwatch playbook. My playbook. And crews like this don't take prisoners much. So, might as well get it over. Stay seated, folks. This'll be over quick. have been developed that can withstand extreme conditions during surface exploration. But what happens if they perfect the cloning procedure and create a free-thinking clone with a soul? So I'm about to try my first comic VR experience with Treatment Tokyo. So put it on. So I'm in and it's like looking at a cinema screen. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so the panels are just like exploding at me. <laughs> and there's no word yet because I'm interested to see how easy it is to read the text. Oh. You've got to move down for the story to follow. Oh, okay. Oh, wow, this is so cool. Wow, that was an experience I wasn't expecting. I'm used to 3D images, but they've actually done that really well. In fact, I'm gonna go read another. <laughs> I have spoken of many things. Perhaps I've said too much. Perhaps. 
The universe blinks and an age of humankind passes by. It's not something I think about too often. Sir, you said I should always speak as I find. I did. Then forgive me, but why does butchering them in cold blood help the cause? You know why. We spared them before and what happened. Do not think I do this lightly. Message, sir. Another intruder. Killed nine before she was subdued. Says she came through the rift. Probably a ruse. They're holding her back at Greenacre Flotilla. They want to know if they should execute her. Through the rift? No, don't kill her. Yet. I wish to speak with her. That looks pretty epic. It's awesome. Absolutely awesome stuff. And uh, it's a bit, you know, raunchy. It is yes. a bit raunchy. This is by Liam Sharp, the guy we were talking about before, and Christina it. McCormack. We talked about his style earlier on. I mean, I absolutely love it. I love the cross hatching and stuff. I think he very much downplayed it in Planet of the Apes, mm. where he yeah. can go full rain here. Yeah. There's a massive juxtaposition of like this neon cyberpunk meets Sandman's like yeah. vertigo-esque grittiness, and there's even a bit of a like Captain Stone himself kind of reminds me of Rob Liefeld a little bit. All right, come on. Uh, <laughs> but I, I kind of like it. I like the sexiness of the women. I like the neonness. Mm. I, I really, I think it's I quite felt it. reminiscent of um, Bill Sienkiewicz's stuff that he used to do with Elektra in, mm. in the eighties. It's absolutely brilliant. If you're into your retro style comics, this is maybe a comic that you'd want to check out. This isn't a comic that's yeah. like page one, hit the ground running. Yeah. This is, you've got to work your way yeah. in to find out yeah. what this is about. And one thing I do like that he used to help you find out what's going on, yeah. because it isn't the most clear of comic books, yeah. but they use the music the to music, help yeah. push The music, yeah, and the that. tone. There was a bit where he was using silhouettes. Uh, it was mm. almost like a madman's like scene. And you know, the music just changed from really eerie to this Lalo Schifrin, really cool 60s spy vibe. Yeah, I, I like really it. liked that. How many uh, issues are there in this series? There are six. What is your mission? To stop the war. What war? The war to end all wars. Diana! We use our principles, although I am not opposed to engaging in a bit of fisticuffs should the occasion arise. I love her. Glad that there's a bit of humour in this, you know, because they've been all dark and gritty so far. So I'm very happy about that. Well done. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. However, Go on. there is one thing I... The, the, I, right, I, did, I tried to impress you knowing God. how much you love Wonder Woman. Yeah. I was like, I'm not prepared. Right. So I tried to like learn some facts. And there's one that, if it's true, mm -hmm. ruins that film. What's that? That Wonder Woman can telepathically connect to and control all of the world's soldiers. What? If that's true, that film is music. <laughs> See, now I thought I knew everything about Wonder Woman because there's been so many different versions of her. Uh, I don't know where you got that fact from. And you know, if there's anybody out there that knows the truth, please <laughs> comment below. I need to get this cleared up. She's also worthy of carrying Thor's hammer. Uh, it's two entirely different universes. So she can still do it, just uh, in this, a different universe. This, hold up a second. This is from the. They did a Marvel DC crossover. Yeah, like they many did. Years ago. Yes, yeah, yeah. I'm impressed. I'm impressed yeah, at your sorry. knowledge. All right, okay. So. But yeah, but still, it counts. All right, okay. She made her first appearance in All Star Comics mm. in 1941, but yeah, you oh, no, definitely yeah. knew that, didn't you? Yes. Did you know her gauntlets are from Zeus's shield? And that's why the bullets were bouncing off in the trailer. I did not. All right, hold up a second. 
from Zeus's shield. Zeus's shield. So you see, this Written is another down. different version <laughs> of Wonder Woman. Are you telling me Google might not be telling me the to, truth? Yeah, Google. The internet doesn't lie. Wrong with that, Des. So. Uh, did you know she was originally called Suprema? The Wonder Woman, but they changed that because it sounded too much like oh, Superman. Superman. Superman and Suprema. Could you imagine that? I, I don't think it sounds that. Because you know, in um, the New Fifty Two, they got together. So can you imagine, like Superman and Superman? Made headlines. Yeah, you know, just, Made yeah, headlines when that right. happened. So basically, you know everything. No. I, and I didn't impress you. There, there are things that I don't know about Wonder Woman, but you know, I'll ask her when I see her in my dream. I've been training my whole life for this. 12 months of made fire. This is my destiny. Win a year of all you can binge motion comics and digital comics. It's time. Design your own original comic book cover based on this week's theme, Iron Fist. Become what you were meant to be. Post your cover art on Instagram using hashtag madefirecreate to enter. I am the Iron Fist. What the hell does that mean? 12 months of made fire. Good luck and get creating. Check out everything that we've been talking about and everything that you've seen on the Mayfire app. And we'll leave you with next week's motion book headliner, Mono by Ben Wolstenholme. I was always there when you needed me. Soldier, to prove myself a man for queen and country for honor. Was I a 